This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Championship week underway and selection Sunday coming up on Sunday. I guess it's a little bit of a bigger week than usual, right, Neil? Oh, without a doubt. Uh, just, just as a side note, on Saturday was our biggest college basketball betting day that we've had. Um, and um, I, I think it may have just edged out what we did on the first day of the tournament, uh, the main uh, 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 NCAA tournament last year. So, you know, the, the last day of, of, of uh, regular season, you know, uh, especially mainly SEC, there was a few that went over on Sunday. But, yeah, if that bodes well, we're going to have a big week, and then the week after that is going to be even bigger. So, uh, yeah, the magic of the, magic of the tournament time uh, is it, it, my favorite time of year especially from a bookmaking perspective because uh, unlike the Super Bowl and the national championships and things like that, we don't have all of our eggs, eggs in one basket, so it's a little bit easier to mitigate our risk. But uh, each week that gets a little tougher as the, as the teams pare down as we go to the different weekends. Well, we've got an Arkansas team that's in action today, Arkansas State, going for a Sun Belt Championship. That's uh, yeah, James Madison minus five and a half today, but also some uh, Red Wolves boosts. We're usually talking about Razorback boosts. Oh yeah, we we try to do them all the time, and 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 the boost that we like to do on those is 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 we usually do the spread and the over because that's the most popular bet that people do. And uh, usually when you put those together, you're only going to get like uh, two and a half to uh, to one on your money. And I think we've got this one at plus three hundred, so you're getting three to one on your money if you're hundred dollar better. That's about a fifty dollar extra payout on your hundred dollar bet, so that's pretty significant, and um, and and that's why you want to use those specials if that's what you're going to bet. And then you know we've already got prop games up, uh, prop action up for tomorrow's uh, 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 baseball game, and we've already got the first props up for the uh, Arkansas versus Vanderbilt in the first round of the SEC. Don't have the lines out quite yet for those. Uh, those will probably come out early in the morning and the morning of those of those tournaments. Probably get the SEC one uh, Wednesdays out uh, late tomorrow afternoon, but a lot of people are looking ahead to that. And, uh, you know, uh, looks like the Hogs, if, we're gonna, if they're going to make the dance, they're going to have to run the table. And uh, that's, that's a pretty, pretty tall order. And uh, But, uh, heck, you know, anything can happen. It's sports. I know last week, Bet Sarazen had a, a pretty major update, and you open yeah. up the app. You can tell the difference in the feel uh, and the ease of the app immediately. Yeah, it took a little bit longer. It was kind of funny. Uh, usually our updates, we, we, we start about 2 o'clock in the morning, and we try to have them done by 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning at the latest. This one was quite significant. It was a, it was a huge software update, which gave us a lot more capabilities. Um, the one that people are really recognizing the first is the bet slip that pops up out of the bottom. Uh, so it's easier to make your singles bets and your in-game betting. Um, and then when you make a parlay, instead of having to decide, you know, flip a switch, is this SGP or same-game parlay available? As you make your selections, if it can be same-game parlayed, it automatically puts it in that menu for you. And if it's not, if it only qualifies for a regular a play, it will put those combinations and build them for you so you don't have to keep putting stuff in and out of your betting ticket to decide uh, uh, which, which you're able to bet. It does it right there for you, and we've got a huge reception over, over that also. And uh, there's a lot more features tied with this upgrade that we're going to be rolling out as we, as we go. And, um, and, and, you know, it took us a little longer. We didn't get the app back up until like five minutes before the baseball game. We took a little heat for that, but Boy, once we downloaded it and, and people downloaded it and started using it, they forgave us pretty quick. So I guess it was okay. Well, there's a couple of uh, stories out there uh, that people – well, one of them, I guess, is is just uh, hearsay, potentially from yeah. a former Vanderbilt quarterback, Mo Hassan, who I think also played at Southern Cal. He said he was offered, what, $300,000 to try to throw a game by the, quote, Italian mob, unquote. Yeah, when he went to go get a drink at a bar. So, uh, uh, you know, um, it, that, that's an unusual story. Um, but I think he was the backup quarterback and took 17 throws the entire year or the entire season. Um, that's interesting, but they will follow that. Now, you know, we, you know, with sports betting that we've got, you know, we've got U.S. integrity. And, and, and if the athlete, um, and, and it's all over the athletic departments, if the athlete ever has approached that, 
course, they can tell their um, tell their athletic department or the coach and all, and all of that, but they have a way of doing it anonymously. And, and U.S. Integrity has something called Athlete Alert, which is powered by Real Response. Basically, is is you can scan a barcode on a website, or you can do an anonymous text. If you are an athlete or an athletic department, you could do a one hundred percent anonymous tip if anybody approaches you as an athlete uh, uh, to do anything, whether you're a pro athlete, a college athlete, or, or, or whatever, and, um, and and you can do that anonymously. There's the resources out there. That that one right there's, you know, I know it's hearsay, but it'd be interesting to see if there anything comes to that. But a lot of people are shooting that one down already. Well, and then there's another story um, about, I guess they've shut down any betting lines on Temple basketball and, and Loyola, Maryland, also involved in something with the Maryland Lottery and Gaming Control Agency. Uh, right. But, I mean, so there's the details of these stories and all of that, but there's also the idea of just like what you're talking about, and we got into this with the Alabama baseball betting scandal, is right. the system is working, you know, because these are these games are being flagged. And you can't put money on these teams if there's any question that there's something uh, that's uh, that's not right that's going on. So I mean, the whole point of this is, yeah, I mean, you kind of expect that these things might happen, but you've got a system in place to try to shut down the real problems. Absolutely, and and that's why it is very very important that you know we've had a huge expansion of sports betting throughout the state, and it, I mean throughout the state. But what I like to tell people is that sports betting is not new. Just legalized sports betting is what is new in all of these states. And now that we have it, um, you know, out and transparent and out in the open, we're able to collect the data. We're able to use the technologies that we have to be able to identify this. Um, I don't think the expansion of of, of gaming is causing – you know, uh, 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 more scandals. It's just that we have technology and ways to find it now. And, 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 you know, some people are saying, Hey, maybe we ought to stop doing uh, player props on college. I know the NCAA has done that. And a couple of States are are taking a step back. But the flip side to that argument is, is that if you do not offer those college props, they're going to go to either, you know, the black market to do it or, 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 or go back to their, you know, to the regular books to do that. And then, if something's going on, you have no way to track it. You know, have have no way of of uh, of uh, identifying it. So, um, you know, that's the best thing that I you know that I like to tell people out there is that the integrity of the games are very very important to the sports, but because we operate on very 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 thin margins, uh, especially you know against the spread and on the money line and the over and unders, and uh, and if there's any information out there that skews a game one way or to another and gives somebody an advantage. Um, you know, that, that, that can really, really hurt us. But um, the, the, the biggest thing is, is that with things like uh, pro bet which is, allows us to identify people who are not supposed to be wagering because they're associated with the league or a sports team, and how we are able to uh, correlate and, and track all of the betting and see if there's anomalies. I mean, we got, a, we got alerts as soon as that thing moved, um, and, and we kept the market open and let it, let it flow. We didn't have a problem in Arkansas. We took a, all of $110 in bets on that one game that was in question. So, you know, nothing's really, really happening here. But uh, if, if a lot does move like that and bets come in, boy, people are looking at it, and, and, we're, and, and the computer logarithms are able to identify. And e- they're even able to determine, hey, did that line move because an injury announcement came out? Hey, you know, that is normal. But uh, on this particular one, there was no announcement that came out, and the line just moved by itself. And that's always going to raise some flags there. Neil, we'll just wrap up with uh, something that's happening in about a month. You know, if you got the NCAA basketball tournament coming up, well, it means the Masters can't be that far behind and the rest of the golf majors. Uh, you got all of them up here on on uh, futures bets. So, you know, now, now yeah. with bet swap, this is, you know, you want to get in on those sort of things. So uh, if you want to trade or sell your bets, uh, you can do it with some time, uh, with some leeway. Absolutely. You want to go ahead and do that. And we got the players coming up this week, too. And that, you know, famed 17th hole, that island green there, we'll put up some specials last year. We'll put up a few more uh, here this year for that one, too. So uh, we like to have fun with that one. And, uh, and uh, yeah, with golf coming on and, and you know, don't forget, uh, um, you know, uh, soccer across the pond is, 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 is getting kind of fired up right now, too. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a great time of year. But, you know, I got a feeling over the next two weeks uh, – 
we're going to be real heavy on college baseball and basketball around here. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code believe that's b-l-e-a-v for your 50 percent welcome bonus on your first deposit bet online where the game starts